Good day everyone, so I'm going to give my feedback on Daya. This is a special feedback category that Genshin's added and I'll show you afterwards where you can sort of find this. But basically, they've specifically drafted questions where you can give proper feedback on Daya and obviously then submit it through. So I'll go through mine and then obviously if you haven't done so, you can go and obviously send in your own feedback on Daya. So let's just get into it. You can see on the first question, they basically said here, well, how satisfied are you with Daya? Uh, what are the specifics that you're satisfied or with, with or dissatisfied with? And I basically sort of said here, look, Daya's design feels like she's got many drawbacks without any impactful upsides to compensate. Uh, I felt that the balance between the impact and frequency of abilities was poorly implemented. So, for example, if you take her low talent multipliers on her elemental skill, then you would need to compensate for this by either increasing the frequency um, of her elemental skill doing a coordinated attack, just like with Riot and Shogun, or you need to somehow add in, let's say, more utility, like uh, let it like apply two units of cryo, do much more like bigger damage and a wider AOE, something that just balances severity and frequency in a sort of way. And I also said like in a similar thought, like uh, with her elemental burst, that if you give her low talent multipliers on her elemental burst, then the cost of her elemental burst should obviously be lower to kind of compensate for that. That's just like what you'd expect. Or if you don't want to lower it, then you need to have it give you additional buffs or effects. So for instance, after she exits from her elemental burst, all team members can gain like 20% attack or whatever. It's it's not whatever the suggestion is, not it's just an example of how it should be. Point is the balance with Daya and all of the aspects of her kit is kind of off when you um, compare it to other characters. Uh, when asked about her normal attack attacks, I just kind of said, well, it's pretty simple. Our normal attacks are fine because we never use them like with most other characters and my suggestion is just buffing the talent multipliers to be in line with other claymore users. I think that would be kind of fair. Uh, they've gave, they asked then um, more specifically about Deus like elemental skills. So they give you a complete description here, whatever. So I just said, look, um, the problem with her elemental skill is it's got a very low uptime and a poor um, output of damage, utility, and frequency of pyro. So your problem is because you only hit opponents every 2.5 seconds, you generate very very little pyro of elemental particles, which works against Deus like high elemental burst cost. What does um, now, nah, whatever. Let's just ignore what Gramley says here. Right, so second point here on my list is that Deus coordinate attacks don't have a large AOE. So the problem is, is that against, let's say, Ruin Guards, her coordinated attacks will attack her the Ruin Guards chest, like where their little cores are. And this allows her coordinated attacks to trigger high on the enemy, but not low, where, for instance, Dendro cores might be found. So you don't have any damage in Virgin Team. So this is kind of like a very big uh, problem. So you can now understand that together with the low frequency of that sort of like attacks, you have a skill that's actually very poorly adopted to sort of certain combat scenarios. And I've also have a problem with her and Raiden Shogun, where their coordinated attacks actually fail to trigger on enemy cryo shields. Uh, comma, yes, yeah, there needs to be a comma, and hence it's obviously then just better to swap out for a different power unit. So that would be one of my things that I think is just wrong with her elemental skill. Once again, coming back to this idea of frequency versus severity, and you, there's just too many caveats and no upsides to it. Uh, when it came to Deus elemental burst, I just said like exactly the same sort of thing. Uh, you need to lower the cost or you need to increase the talent multipliers and her elemental burst attacks uh, should be registered as triggering a normal attack motion and that would allow her then to trigger of course coordinated attacks with Yelon or Shinshu. I also think a separate key binding such as either repressing her elemental burst key or some other key should be used for cancelling her burst as opposed to just using the jump button. This is obviously a consequence of the fact that they use the charge attack 
Mac animation with Daya, and they kind of use similar coding for our elemental burst. If you use a claim or users like charge attacks, uh, you'll actually find that it functions very, very similarly to Daya's elemental burst, which is kind of problematic. I also said that I'd increase the duration to five seconds and her signature weapon's passive to about 10 seconds so that it actually kind of lines up with her C6 constellation. So that is just some of the suggestions I'd have for elemental burst. Going down, we obviously have some suggestions regarding her passive talent. I said something that could be very useful uh, is something like having the golden form forged, ooh, golden forged form state last longer, like 12 seconds. I'd also suggest like a passive, uh, an additional passive which converts Deus Max HP uh, in a fixed ratio to elemental mastery. This will allow her, in addition to having, let's say, a lower or a higher frequency of up um, of coordinated attacks on her E for her to be like an effective virgin support because she's got this healing, she's got this HP pool uh, to tank and so on. So this would be kind of ideal. She puts down a field, your team members gain uh, less attacks. I think there should be there should be something reworked in that sort of sense. So together with what I said above, that should kind of work. Uh, they asked here about her constellations and so on. So I basically said, well, her constellations do not really add meaningfully to her character because her talent multipliers are low. Her C4 solves a problem which could in any case be fixed by just fixing her elemental skill and then of course giving her something else. So in my opinion her constellations do not solidify her role as a defensive unit nor do they add significant um, offensive potential. For me her best is C2 because that allows you to have more uptime on your E ability though I do think that should just have been in the base kit. Um, I've also said here that as in my opinion I do feel like as someone with multiple c6 five stars that her output at c6 or five or that that i've seen so far is just not strong enough if you take into account all the buffs that her team members give her you can see i just said her damage is not high enough i think it is sad to see that a c6 r5 there can actually just be beaten by a shongling with the catch so that to me is just unacceptable for having you pay uh, for a unit. Daya needs to obliterate Xiongling at C6R5. Uh, just like Yelon absolutely makes a joke out of Xingxu at C6R5. I also felt that um, if they do wish to keep her damage low, then she needs some additional utility for buffing the party. So, for instance, you could give her a buff like um, after she casts her elemental burst, uh, or exits her elemental burst, all non-pyro party members uh, dealing damage to enemies will ignore 25% of the defense when their elemental burst or skills hit enemies for about 12 seconds. So that is an example of an additional strong utility that they could have if you don't want to give her power. Once again, it's about how you distribute the power, the severity versus the frequency versus where you want it to take, in, to take effect. Do you want Dea to do the damage? Do you want other characters to do the damage? If Dea's damage is low, then her utility must be high, etc, etc. So these are just some of the things that I've kind of pointed out. And then I also said here, well, they asked, like, how do you use it? And I said, well, I kind of use Daya to sort of solidify sucrose and triggering, like, um, swirl reactions in a sort of sukokumon like team. I think the problem that I have is that her Fiery Field Sanctum here gives you the Golden Forge state, but that passive does not stop. The timer does not stop when Daya's in her elemental burst, unlike her sort of um, Fiery Field Sanctum. And that, unfortunately, leads to you missing out on the buff during Deus casting of her elemental burst but if the golden forged form actually stopped you could have conferred it to Kokomi and Fischl and then they can actually then get the full benefits of the fire field sanctum so that is a problem for me from a combat sort of perspective and then they kind of asked here about common team strategies and stuff I just said look her best team of a common team people play with is Bennett, Xiongling, Kazu and Dea obviously because you want to sort of get into that hyper carry style the problem is you you replace Deus defensive utility in most, not all scenarios, but in most scenarios, you can just replace it with Xingqiu and his rain swords. And then obviously you then have a vaporize for Xiongling to trigger, which means Dea does not really contribute offensively or defensively to the team in most practical scenarios. I think in the former Abyss, floor 12, 2, 1 was perhaps the only situation where you might say that interruption to resistance, the golden forge form state, um, is 
Golden Forged for me, yeah, state is just better than Xingxu's interruption. But other than that, uh, there's not really that much um, sort of things. I also said that other variations with Mona Kazu are possible. Um, but the elemental burst costs are very, very high. Um, I did include some of the teams that I use, but the problem is, of course, the uptime on her Pyro application, and her kit has no support for scaling with elemental mastery. So what you once again need is for her to actually be competitive against Toma or Xinyan or Shangling. So you either be competitive defensively, or you need to be competitive in applying Pyro and other utilities. And I think it makes her actually very hard to play without compromise it makes her a non-friendly character and that's the thing it's it's her kit in and of itself um lacks like having a proper direction and that's what that would that is what makes it um like very very hard to use uh, so this is the problems that i kind of have um with Dea overall uh with how they kind of designed her now that did make her a standard banner character but i think the ideas that i'm putting forth here are ideas that would be much better suited to putting her as a normal like just ordinary five star unit i don't think i think it was a big mistake to add her on the standard banner it's and then give her very poor like scalings and so on i try to make the best of it um but it's clear that i think hoyo could have done better even then and I just said here, like, look, at the end, everything about Dea, apart from her combat, is great. It's just a shame that the core engagement with the character, which is the combat, was really neglected when Dea as herself as a character really shined in the story. So, yeah, that is about it. So you can obviously use Dea in this power burst. You can get your nine stars. Um, I think that was my initial point. And I was kind of surprised that they would actually give you the opportunity to provide this kind of feedback uh, so if there is change that would be really really awesome my initial assessment on Dea was obviously based on the fact that i did not anticipate hoyo to change anything about her kit because they generally won't do it and hence we just try to make the most out of the kit yes her problems are there and i do think there are different ways of tackling her problems these are my suggestions you guys can obviously give your own suggestions and there we go let's click on the little submit button submission successful and let's just wait for a little api there we go based on your oh whoops i think i submitted uh oh i didn't do oh i just i have no idea what i did i did something i think i absolutely i, I clicked the stuff twice here on, on cs but in any case it's it's whatever uh, how do i get out of this thing um okay uh we are trapped uh there we go uh are we i don't know uh so basically to get to the day of thingamabob you just need to go to feedback on special categories click on part two click on character data and then you will get to a swarm so that's it right let me know what you think thanks for watching cheers